Hello and welcome to the Cisco Email Security Series Updates. This video will cover specifically the Sender Domain Reputation SDR feature. Traditionally, ESA filters mail based on the Sending Domain's IP reputation by querying Talos for the Sending Domain Sender Base Reputation Score, SPRS. The efficacy of IP reputation gradually decreases because of various reasons. A single IP can be used to host multiple domains, in which case the nature of each domain can be different. To bypass reputation checks, attackers actually prefer to switch IPs, which are not visible to an end user, rather than switch domains. In order to address these issues, ESA now integrates with the domain reputation service provided by Talos, Sender Domain Reputation. When upgrading to 12.0, SDR is enabled by default. For each incoming message, a sender domain reputation query is performed and the reputation of the message is retrieved via HTTPS POST request to the SDR service. The following information is used to help determine verdicts. But let's move on to the fun parts where I can actually configure sender domain reputation. If we go to security services, domain reputation filtering, domain reputation, we will actually see that the sender domain reputation is enabled globally. The default query includes IP, envelope header, and the loan information. Additional attributes can be sent during the data phase to help increase the telemetry to SDR. These can include SPF result and alignment, DKIM result and alignment, and DMARC result. Though SDR queries during the conversation phase, actions are actually configured at the filter level. Message filters and content filters can be used, either the domain age or the reputation, so we can take an action. Going for incoming content filters, Adding a filter, naming it, and adding a condition, we can immediately see here domain reputation. There are seven reputation verdicts possible to action on inside a content filter, or even based on age. They range from awful, poor, tainted, weak, unknown, neutral and good. You can also have actions based on sender domain age. Let's say that we can block all domains that are less than two days old, for instance. More options are available. If the sender domain reputation is unscannable by some unforeseen reason, we can also have actions on that. We can also have a domain exception list. Full email addresses, IP addresses, and domains may be excluded from SDR checks. In terms of reporting, we can actually go to the NGSMA to find out there's two widgets available for SDR. Mail flow summary, sender domain reputation, and we can check incoming messages by SDR category, and also the other widget is by threat category. I do hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching.